Hi, she was seven. I'm back. How are you? I got a question and a re video request. Um, basically, I was asked to explain how to tell if a man is really financially stable and has money or if he's pretending sort of like renting cars, uh, has bad credit and just like showing off and he doesn't really have what it seems that he has. Um, this is like, and oh, and you don't want to ask them about their finances because it's rude. Okay. First of all, you ask, you know, what they do for a living because that's a, norm, a normal question, right? Ask them for a business card. Okay. So you know where they work. Um, if you want to invest in some, some sort of, uh, online background check, just need his name and his date of birth. So ask him his birthday, okay? And the state and city he lives in. That's pretty much it. You can find a lot of stuff online about him if he's been married, if he's been divorced, um, if he's been to jail. Y'all know all that. Um, you can also um, see what type of people he hangs around. If all his friends are professional and have their stuff together and you know, not doing illegal things and stuff like that. He probably is, you know, on the up and up. Also, if you, um, <laughs> if you ever like are in his house or anything, if you're ever in the house, all you have to do is, you know, remember the address, go and research it on Google later and it will show you who owns that house, like if he's renting it or whatever. It will show you who owns the house, how much the house is worth, if it's for sale, if it's leasing, leased out, blah, 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 blah. So that's easy. You can get that on Google for free. Um, also, also I'm, I'm still, I must have been New York, a New Yorker in my former life because I swear sometimes the accent just pops out from nowhere. Anyway, <laughs> so yes, also like, if he doesn't have a bank account, if he doesn't have a checking account or a savings account, that's 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 red flag. Like if he never goes to the bank, if he just keeps wads of cash everywhere, that he's probably a drug dealer. If he never goes to the ATM or the bank, uh, I would check on that. Um, <laughs> if you know, when you talk to a guy, you know they're intelligent. You know the ones who are smart enough to earn money the right way and you are, and you are smart enough to know the ones who earn it the illegal way <laughs> or the ones who scammers are the ones who are pretending you know the ones who are pretending always talk about wealth money this that i got this i got that the ones who don't ones who have it they don't talk about it okay the ones who have it it's not a big deal okay the the, the flashiest ones are the ones that are faking it okay the flashy ones faking it the one that has the modest regal um classy taste is the one that's not faking it okay the when you're trying to show off and get attention for your wealth it's because it's it's fleeting and it's not real okay when you have money coming in you know you know you know that you're financially stable if you're wealthy you're not trying to show it off to everybody and their mama okay so that's how you know uh look at a man's shoes if they're if they have on sneakers and it's the middle of the day and they're on their lunch break at the restaurant unless they own their own business or something like that you know you have to kind of look at what a guy guy is wearing you have to look at his wardrobe if he doesn't have a suit if he doesn't have any type of clothes that looks like he has a job or a business then you have to you have to kind of think about that too uh, so yeah a lot of times men spend more money on their outward appearance than their home so get to their house if you don't see furniture <laughs> If you see like cheap furniture, if he's slacking everywhere else, except for what people see on the outside, then you know he's fronting. If you go to his house and he has art, like real art, he got money, okay? Um, <laughs> if, you know, if you're in the nice neighborhood or in the nice area of town where people, 
are financially stable, you're seldom going to see a faker out there because the fakers like to hang out with people that have less so they can look like they have more. So try to stay on the nice part of town and not the bad part of town because if you go into like a bar or a club on the bad part of town where everyone's broke and you see this bawling flashy guy and chains and jewelry and nice cars, he's there to stick out like a sore thumb to get attention, to get women's attention because he can't hang with the big boys, okay? So he goes to the lesser so he can have his pick, okay? Tell him, like if you see someone like that and he's trying to holler at you, Tell him, let's go and name like some fancy place where you know a lot of rich people hang out and see what he does. If he gets scared, if he looks crazy, keep it moving, okay? Because um, real, real ballers hang out with real ballers. They don't try to show off in front of poor people, okay? That's how you know. Have you ever seen a basketball, a professional basketball player or professional football player in a place where well, I'm sure they're always going to be the richest person in the room. But have you ever seen them like, you know, going to like a place where they can't, you know, fit in with everybody else? You, do you see them going to the worst parts of town or the nice spots? You know, I'm, I'm sure there's some that will venture off into the hole in the walls. But for the most part, these people are hanging out, getting, you know, five-star treatment at places so you have to you have to understand that if, if if you got a lot of cash if you're paying nothing but cash that means you know be careful <laughs> um also there's a lot of guys who front by uh i'm sorry i'm looking at the time and there's a lot of guys who front by maxing out credit cards renting cars and stuff like that to get the women's woman's attention so to spot these type of people, you know, off the bat, you know, just, you know, they're going to volunteer information to you. You don't even have to ask them. They're not, you're, they're not going to wait for you to ask them. They're going to be like, oh yeah, well I drive a this, this and that, you know, they're going to kind of throw it into the, the conversation or, oh yeah, uh, I have a five bedroom house in the suburb. They're going to throw it in there voluntarily. Okay. Um, most people with something, they're not going to volunteer that information until they trust you or they're comfortable with you. You know, fakers will throw it out there. You know, I, I got this. I got that. You know, you need to get with me. Uh, when I met my husband, he didn't tell me nothing. And the questions that I asked him were very rude because I was, I was basically tired of dealing with broke men. So... I get approached, I got approached every day, y'all. So for me, blowing off somebody was no big deal, okay? So he comes up to me and I've already like decided in my brain, I am not dating nobody broke. I am not dating anybody unless they can do this, 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 and that. That's it. So whoever coming up to me, I'm going to shoot them down quick because I'm not wasting no more time. That was my attitude. And so he comes up to me, he's like, hi, da 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 I'm like... Okay, he sounds like he, he's smart. He got a good job or something, you know. <laughs> he doesn't speak ignorant. And then so I was like, okay, mm-hmm. Like, I heard it all before. And I'm like, so I, I asked the rude questions because that's how, you, that's how you can tell a real, you know, person from a fake person. I asked the, I asked the rude questions. I was like, you know what? Especially if you look better than them. Go ahead. Ask the root questions because they're already expecting it anyway. So I said, so what do you do? And he's like, oh, I work for, uh, I own, uh, no, he, what did he say? I own a multi-million dollar uh, revenue making. Uh, he said some crap. I didn't understand back then because I was young, y'all. So he was into technology. So I... I was like clueless on what he was saying. He was speaking a foreign language, but it sounded like it made a lot of money. So I was like, okay, do you have a card? Yes, I asked. I, I pulled the card trick. Ask for a card whenever they tell you what they do for a living. Ask for a card. If they don't have a card or they can't get you no card, psh, oh, I'm fresh out. Do you have some in your car? <laughs> or what's your email? Never give them your app. 
Don't ever give them your phone number first if they don't have a card. <laughs> give them your email address. <laughs> um, not your Facebook, but your email. Okay, anyway. That way you can see where he emails you from. If he emails you from a work email or his company's email or, or a damn uh, Google or Yahoo.com. And, and with that email, you can get a lot more information online too, y'all. Okay, anyway. So I asked all the root questions. So I said, well, what do you do for a living? Da, da, da. He gave me his card. I said, oh, that's good. That's nice. And then I said, okay, because anybody can get a business card and put CEO on it, right? Because his says CEO. And I'm like, mm-hmm, whatever. Uh, so then I said, well, what kind of car do you drive? Because I was trying to get rid of him, y'all. I, I was really sick and tired of dealing with broke guys. And this was this is the fastest way to get rid of a broke guy. Ask him the rude questions. Oh, well, I drive a convertible uh, Benz. It's right outside. I'm like, okay. Check one, check two. Okay. Uh, then, then the third question I ask is, you know, well, so, you know, What do you, what do you, why are you approaching me? You know, what do you want? I want to get to know you. I want to spend time with you. I think you're beautiful. You know, listen to their reasons why they want to be with you or why they want to date you or why they want to talk to you or get to know you better. Listen to their reasons. If their reasons are like, you're so fine, that, you know, if their reasons are, you seem very interesting, you know, if their reasons are intelligent reasons and don't sound like game, yeah, go for it. That's how I met my husband. I asked the rude questions. I swear to God. I said, you know what? I'm tired of dealing with broke men. I, I took my power and I said, what do you do for a living? Give me a card. What kind of car do you drive? Straight up. And he, and he thought I was just, and he was proud to say what he had because he did have it, you know, but he didn't volunteer none of that information to me. He came, he was trying to get by on his good looks. <laughs> He actually was talking to another woman, and then when I came in and sat down, he left her mid-conversation to come walk over to me. And the lady was just like, yeah. And so he volunteered no information. I had to pull it, and I had to ask him, you know. If, if you got to pull answers and stuff like that, it's a good thing because only broke, fake rich people volunteer their, their uh, information like that. And so, yeah, basically, that's how you tell. Uh, I also look at the jewelry. Rich people don't wear a lot of jewelry, like, especially men. Rich men do not wear a lot of jewelry unless they're rappers. So, if you see all this jewelry on, on a man, uh, if he's flashy, this, this, and that, unless he owns a jewelry company, <laughs> then, you know, you know he's flashy for a reason, you know? Um that's just how it is. I think Jay-Z said it best. He says, no chrome on the wheel. I'm a baller for real. Okay, that means he's not trying to show off. He's not wasting money on rims and tires. He's investing. He's got money. He's got a company. He's got businesses. He's not wasting his money on flash. Okay? The less flashy a man is, the more legitimate he is. Okay? He's not going to spend his money on crap when he can invest it and make more money with it. Okay? All right, y'all. I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. And also, if you have any more video requests, you can either send them to my Facebook if y'all are um, on my Facebook page, or you can put them in the comments. And I will try to get to some of them if they are good topics. Uh, <laughs> and, you know... Always be honest with yourself and what you want. Because if you don't, how is anybody supposed to give it to you? Okay? All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.